Hello everybody and welcome back to One Flowers. And as you guys can see, everybody is really, really sad. And that is because, unfortunately, Granny has gone. Granny has passed away. Um, not quite sure exactly what I'm supposed to do next. I feel like we may just need to chat with everybody Hi. before we go on I've with the adventure. I've been meaning to stop by, but I, I didn't want to intrude. Oh, my heart goes out to you. Hazel was a truly decent person. Strong, too. I see a lot of her in you. Thanks. Made you something. Of course, I'm not much of a cook, but I can keep a fire lit under a pot at least. Okay. Now, what I tried to do when I started uh, making it summer, I really thought that we we're just going to go through the crops and we're going to lose just a few crops here, but I completely forgot about Hazel. My own grandma helped raise me while my parents were working night shifts in the city. I miss her every day. My heart goes out to you. Thank you. And sorry about your grandma. Cameron says we just have to work to live up to their hopes for us. I'll try. <laughs> All right. We got a little bit of chat with that one. Let me chat with I know what it's like Vanessa. to lose someone you were close to. A kind word would have meant a great deal to me then. You have my sympathies. Thanks, Vanessa. Right, there we go. Let's go with I am grateful Lena that next. Hazel was still her same fiery self right until the end. My father isn't so fortunate. Oh, Tara, I'm so sorry. How stupid of me. I can't imagine how you must feel. It's okay. I'll miss her. She was a wonderful mentor and a steadfast friend. All right, there we go. We got Lena. Next up, we got this fella. Hey, I'm seriously bummed on your behalf. This is just really heavy, brah. Thanks, Kai. Today, when I paddle out, I'm gonna catch a bomb, just for Hazel. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm sure that would have meant a lot to her. Perfect, next up we got Amira. Hazel was ready. She knew it was her time, but it's still all right to be upset and to mourn her. You deserve that space for yourself. There we go. Uh, let's go with Sophia next. I am so sorry about your grandma. She used to joke I would have to fry her secret cookie recipe from her cold, dead hands. <laughs> but I thought that's just Hazel being Hazel, you know? <laughs> uh, it's okay. I'm fine, really. You're being so brave. She would have been very proud. Thanks. We're fine. Don't worry about it. It's just going to pass. In times of loss, it could be tempting to wallow in grief, but I don't think that's what your grandmother would have wanted for you. I can't believe I'm saying this, but that is a really <laughs> good point. Come by the Consciousness Center anytime. We're here to help. All right, buddy. Uh, let me try to chat with everybody, of course, because we do want to increase our relationship with everybody. Sorry about your gram. My dad said those we've lost never really leave us. I don't think it's true, though. He feels pretty gone to me. All right, let's go with Bruno next. Look, Tara, I'm real sorry about Hazel. She was a special lady. I'll be sure to raise a glass to her at the bar. <laughs> and finally, this fella. I only knew your abuela a short while, but she was a lovely person. I'm so sorry. Thanks. Look, honey, if you have an heirloom you want me to adjust for you, I'm happy to do it, free of charge. All right, buddy, uh, we are completely done with uh, all the missions. Uh, I do want to chat with her, though, but uh, I cannot interact with her, because I think if I'm not mistaken, I do have a mission for her. What about the mayor? My deepest sympathies for the loss of your grandmother. Thank you. I don't think she ever voted for me. <laughs> I don't think she ever voted for me. That's not what matters now. You no doubt have a lot on your mind, but I, need I don't to think tell she ever voted for me. Are you kidding me, buddy? Come on. Everything. This guy. To you. The farm, the house, all of her possessions are yours now. She did? <sighs> Thanks for letting me know. I know you're still processing these sorrowful events. But I fervently hope that you will decide to stay. Of course she put everything on my name. I mean, I was sure about it. Um, I don't have the honey for her just yet, though. <sighs> I just can't believe Hazel's really gone. 
since my dad moved away for work, things got lonely. Hazel was there for us. She made me feel like everything was going to be okay. I wish I could have done more to help her. If only we had more time. There's nothing anyone could have done. Don't blame yourself. Take care of yourself. There are people here who will help you. We need to stick together. Thanks. All right. Um, and lastly, this fella. Look, I'm really sorry to hear about Hazel. This is a tough deal. Thanks. I'm not great at these situations. Um, let me know when you're feeling better. All right, buddy. Thank you all very much for coming. Uh, let's see if we can actually interact with this. No, we cannot. Hmm. All right. Well, in that case, uh, let's just end up by making my way back home. I want to see if uh, I can do anything with my crops. I'm pretty sure that the cauliflower that hasn't finished growing, it is not going to be done right. But at the same time, is Parker here? I have an important mission for Parker, which is, of course, getting the ranch going. So let's just go in the ranch. Uh, oh, I do have... Wait, I do have what I need. Hmm. Uh, I think I do have enough money. I think I just need to get myself a few more coins before I'm going to be able to finish this mission. So because of that, let's just see what we can do here. Uh, hold up. Does she maybe have some seeds for me that I could buy? Buy. Oh, we are going to have some seeds. We have some flour that we can buy. Let's go with four sunflower seeds and marigolds. Five of those, I guess. All right. Let's also go ahead and sell some stuff. Uh, we could also sell a... F Wait, can I sell anything? I cannot do anything. What the heck? I have a feeling today is a day of mourning. That's why we cannot really do much. Uh, I could also grab me some stone here for the mayor and give it to him to get some more money. But unfortunately, I cannot. <laughs> Dang it. All right, so it is a day of mourning. We cannot really do much at the moment. Uh, you know what? Let me try to go to the right side. I want to see if I can actually find that dude that came on to visit. I have a feeling he may actually go to the cove because he definitely wasn't here to visit. Let's see if I can find them. Also, apparently tonight, the moon is going to show up. I'm going to want to chop down a few more trees around here. So let me do a little bit of chopping while we're at it. There we go, buddy. Let's chop down these ones as well. Perfect. And this one as well. There we go. That's more like it. Now we're getting the wood that we needed. That's more like it. All right. So let's see if I can find that person that um, came on over to visit. I appreciate sure I'm not going to be able to see him here because it's not 11 night, right? And nobody is here at the moment. Yeah, I was kind of expecting that. All right. In that case, let me make my way back home and see what else we can do there. All right. And we're back now. Hmm. I still have no idea how to get rid of these trees, though. I got to clean this place up a little bit, uh, but um, it feels like I cannot do it just yet. Ooh, constitute a name here. You are currently invited to attend the annual Furnace Summer Festival. Uh, it's in just a few weeks. Hope to see you there. Sincerely, Mayor Autosoft. Hmm. Uh, the festival starts in 15 more days. Interesting. So there's going to be a festival. And look at that. I knew it. Apparently, the cauliflower just wilted. Hmm. All right. In that case, let me go ahead and plant uh, flowers over here. Let me water it down. Because we are going to need the bees to start making us uh, some honey, right? Let me plant down more flowers over here. Let's go with sunflower this time. And what are you... No, I don't want to water it down. Apparently, you don't have to water it down. Oh, I'm going to the house. Finally. Maybe I'm misreading the writing. <laughs> huh. Or maybe there's even more to discover on this island than I realized. That is way, way too much that we got to discover here for sure. All right, to sum it up. Task completed. You have been rewarded with uh, another ability that we're going to be able to get. Increased energy spell. An incantation to permanently increase your energy bar. What? Dullness binds my body tightly. Awaken me and make me sprightly. No way. All right. We got ourselves a cauldron that can be constructed into a basement. Uh, and look at this. The energy bar has increased so much. That is what I want to see, buddy. All right. Uh, let me collect this one then. Let's see what we got to do here. Now, I already have the cauldron. I don't want that one. Uh, what I want to do here, though, is another one of these magic potions. All right, let me make my way outside again. Uh, let's see what we got to finish it, because I do have to start planting quite a lot of stuff. Uh, hold up. Let me grab this. 
Let me grab this. Let me make a little bit more flowers over here. I'm gonna go with this one this time. Right? Uh, I cannot water it down. Seriously? Why not? Hmm. I think I do have... Actually, the only seeds that we have for this season uh, are the flowers. So I'm gonna have to get my hands on more seeds from the shops, apparently. Interesting. All right, in that case, hold up. Let me have a little bit of chat with the cats. Just give her a little bit of love so that we can get more stuff from her, hopefully. Listen to that purr. All right, we got cat oh, fur. Such a good cat. All right, come on, Tara. Let's go upstairs here because we are going to be able to get ourselves a few more mushrooms. There we go. Uh, we'll start chopping down more trees because we're definitely going to need the trees. Uh, let me chop down this one. There we go. Perfect. This one as well. I mean, I love it that we have so much energy now on us. That is so good. Alright. I'm gonna go through all the energy today, and then tomorrow we're gonna be able to get ourselves more stuff because as you guys have seen, we cannot really buy anything at the moment. Uh, from the people around town. I wonder, should I maybe go inside the mine? I don't even know. Yeah, you know what? Let's just uh, get rid of the energy here by just chopping down trees. And tomorrow maybe we're gonna make our way inside the mines a little bit to get ourselves a little bit more copper because I do want to improve the um, pickaxe yes. just a little bit more. I'm not gonna be able to finish this up. Uh, ooh, hold up. Can I maybe eat this up? There we go. We got a little bit of vegan food. Chop it down, buddy. And again. Look at that. Alright, let me try to chop down one more tree. I don't know if I have enough energy, though. But if I do go ahead and eat this one up. Perfect. And it's done. That's what I'm talking about. And ultimately, let me chop down this small tree here. Ooh, look at that. Just one chop. That's more like it. And if I'm going to have one more of those uh, fallen trees around here somewhere, I will chop it down because it is going to take just one chop, right? Let's see. Oh, never mind. We do have this one. Perfect. Man, we got so much wood. That is what I'm talking about. And I think if I'm not mistaken, different type of flowers are spawning in. Look at that. Yes, these are definitely different than it used to be. And uh, let's just see if this one is going to keep on spawning in. Nope, I don't see this one that I used to spawn on this side. And also nothing around here either. Hmm. Alright, in that case, you know what? Let me just skip as I'm going to make my way back home. Get some sleep to reset the day. And hopefully tomorrow things are going to be a little bit better. And uh, we're not going to be as sad anymore. Alright, there we go. A brand new day has started. It is Wednesday. Uh, I'm not quite sure exactly what shops are going to be open and everything, but let's remember that it is summertime. And during the summer, I don't think we're going to have any rain. Um, or at least, not as much as we did previously. So, let's just water down everything that we can today. There we go. We got a little bit of that. Um, let's get that one watered down. I think I'm going to want to place one more flower over here, just because we can. go. A little bit on this side. Uh, let me place a few more of these while we add it. Compost. Grab a little bit of water this one. And uh, I'm definitely gonna have to go to the shop, right, to get myself some more seeds, as at the moment I cannot really build as much. Ooh, Hi, this fellow's here. <laughs> Your grandma? She was. Strange, for sure. But she had respect for the land. Our families were close, and Hazel was special. Yeah, she was. She always wanted you to love this place as much as she did. So, I'm gonna teach you farming for her. Ooh, hold up. Seriously? Right. Um, how when exciting. Do we start? Right now's as good a time as any. Take these <laughs> cotton seeds and plant them. But you better plant cotton them seeds. quick. They take a while to grow, and Ooh. they only grow in summer. You can buy more oh, cotton get seed it. from me and a few other things if you need. You can grow this cotton and okay, turn it into that's not cloth. Bad. That makes a bit of money. Wait. Dyed cloth is even better. Come see me when you're ready to learn about making cloth. 
I wonder if I'm gonna be able to get myself some clothing. That would be so good summer, if that's gonna be a possibility. Thomas? Well, it brings its own challenges. <laughs> My mom taught me to use trees to shade your crops, especially in summer. So I've been checking in with every tree, having a little chat, making sure they're healthy. <laughs> All right, buddy. Uh, in that case, let's just uh, get planting. Now that we got the cotton, we are going to place some cotton on this side over here. So let's just place both of them. I think it's going to take seven days, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so let's just plant one more over here. Let's also water everything down. There we go. This one as well. And let me see if I have the ability to use time potion on them. All right, now that cotton is going to grow a little bit faster, and let's use another one here. There we go. That is more like it. All right, uh, next up, let me have a little bit of chat with my kitty cat. Hopefully, she's going to give me a little bit more stuff. All right, and we got uh, nothing. That's fine. That is fine, buddy. Don't worry about it. Uh, so, it's going to take just one chop to chop down the small trees. It is. Man, this is so worth it now, eh? The thing is, we gotta wait for quite a few days for trees to grow back up by the looks of it. Uh, but these ones are gonna take only one chop, which is absolutely great. There we go, buddy. I mean, look at this. So easy to get wood now. Finally. Getting this axe first was definitely a good decision, for sure. Alright, let me collect everything that we came from here. And next up, let me make my way back in town. Let's just uh, try to get ourselves some more crops. Or more like seeds, actually. Alright, let's for the blacksmith. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, buy. So we cannot buy that, unfortunately. Hmm. I could try to make me more of these, though, by using 55 coins. Yeah, let's just go with that. Let's improve this one, just because we can. And that is going to be about it for now. All right, we have to make more money because we kind of wasted quite a lot. So let's just see what missions we can do here. Oh, this guy's ah, gonna buy it from me. Interesting. I was to see. Have you struck silver in them dar hills yet? You know it's not hills, <laughs> right? Uh, of course. Mines, buddy. Sure. <laughs> Mostly. Look, I love working <laughs> with precious metals, but I have no idea how to extract them, and I need some silver for our wedding bands. If you dig up some raw ore. Natalia can turn it into an ingot that I can work with. Let's see what I can find. You and Angus deserve the most beautiful rings. Oh, okay. So I think I got to give him two. But of course, I don't have silver. I have only iron at the moment, right? So we're not going to be able to get that from him just yet. Hmm. Uh, in that case... Oh, hold up. This guy has something for me. First of all, let me give him the You're mission. Shining example Claim the reward. Of productivity. More citizens should be like you. All right, buddy. Uh, next up, let me chat with, uh, about there. summer. As you may have heard, we have a little tradition every summer here in Fairhaven. Yes, the uh, summer festival. I know. Well, you're right on top of things, aren't you? I like that in a citizen. Oh, you could Speaking use some help. Which, I could use some help. I was waiting for that. <laughs> with my speech. The peak of summer is everyone's favorite time of year, and I want to capitalize on that goodwill. Do you think I should talk about history, unity, or the future? Um, history, unity, future, um, unity. Uh, I think you should talk about bringing the community together. Yes, that's what I'll do. Well, I better get to writing my speech. All right, buddy. Uh, I think we are done with him for now. Let's see if we have any missions in the billboard. Uh, we do have missions for woods, which I'm definitely going to grab uh, and do right about now. Uh, do I have any missions for her, I wonder? I would like to sell some flowers to her, and I, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, out of seasons, These ones. Wait, I cannot sell them. Why not? Use it as a craft ingredient or sell it to violets, a delicate wood of flower. Yeah, I don't understand why I cannot sell the flowers that we have on us. Maybe actually we don't have the flowers. I don't even know. I didn't want to be a florist at first. I wanted to work at a boutique in the city or something. But summer days remind me, hey, this isn't so bad. I get all the best parts of nature without stepping into the sauna that is the outdoors. Must be nice. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, so we don't have the uh, stuff for her just yet. 
Let me just give Parker here the wood that he requested for a little bit of money. I don't have enough money to start on the ranch though, but I do want to give him these pieces of wood for 19 coins. Perfect. Pocket money. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see what, what else we got here, around here. I think I do have another mission uh, that I got to do for somebody. Uh, right over here, for her. All right, let me give her her request of the mushrooms. You brought the ingredients I asked for. They're just what I needed. I wouldn't want anyone to stay sick when I can help. I don't see things like this very often, but it's good you moved here, Bamira. <laughs> All right, that mission has been completed. Perfect. Uh, next up, what do we got here? Let's see. No missions for them. Oh, you know what? I do need Bruno because I do need to sell him some fishies, including buying some bait from him. So let me go ahead and buy 20 of these for 80 coins. Uh, let's go on and sell two tunas. Um, and the shrimps, both of them, just because they're going to be worth a lot. You know what? Let's just sell all of it. There we go. Sell. And I think that's going to be about it. I'm not going to sell anything anymore. Perfect. Um, what about this fella? Your grandma knew you would come back to take care of her in the end. She did? Oh, yeah. I told her. I don't get it. <laughs> Nah, you sure don't. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this fella is one of the, uh, the wizards, right? In the forest. I am 100% sure about it. Alright, let me go ahead and buy um, this from him. And also go ahead and sell some of these mushrooms. Five of them. There you go, buddy. Perfect. Oh, he disappeared. What the heck? <laughs> oh, what about the kids? They have lemonade? What's up, guys? Tara! Did something happen? We want to build a lemonade stand. Oh, That's what happened. okay. Mommy said she would help us with the lemons, and Daddy said he would help us build the stand. But we still need the wood for the stand. Oh, they need and wood. And some sugar. And, and sugar, which I don't no have. That. Plus, if you help us, we'll give you a lemonade discount. So <laughs> you'll be like an investor. You can see long-term returns. Mommy's been reading a book that Daddy bought. He said it was boring. But Emmy doesn't think it's boring. Hmm, scary. What kind of returns? Let's go with that. What kind of long-term returns are we talking here? Uh, I don't know. I haven't gone <laughs> to that chapter yet. Well, let me see what I can do. Whee! Endless lemonade! <laughs> These little kids, look at that. We do have the wood for them. I don't have the sugar, though, unfortunately. Uh, which may be a little bit more difficult to come across. Hold up, let me just have a chat with uh, Lena here. Let's see what we can buy. So, uh, apparently we have a lot of seeds that we can buy, which is going to be the corn seeds. Uh, let's buy two corn. Let's buy hop seeds. Strawberry seeds. Sugar cane seeds. Tomato, potato, uh, tomato seeds, of course. And I'm running really, really low on coins here, unfortunately. Man, but the sugar these guys are requesting is pretty expensive. Let's go with four, I guess. I do want to do the mission eventually for them. Uh, let's also grab two more of these. Oh my god, I'm wasting so much money. <laughs> We're not going to be able to do the uh, the ranch this time, guys, unfortunately. But I think I have what I need now to give them the what they requested. Yet? No. Wait, what? Well, hurry up. What do you mean I don't? Um, Hold on a minute. I'm pretty sure I had it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I had it. I'm not sure exactly what happened there. Uh, anyway, uh, let me make my way right over here for a second. I want to see if I can go to my grandma's grave. Oh, we can. Ah, oh, we can put up flower. I met Wesley, Grandma. He gave me your journal. I'll keep it safe. I promise. I miss you. Man. All right, I think I got to come back here every single day and uh, put some uh, flowers at the grave. All right, let me make my way this side. Let me see if I can chat with the teacher because if I'm not mistaken, she needs 10 paper from me and she might give me some coins if I do that. All right, 95 coins. And Perfect. I thought I might have to wait until I could go to Milkwater to get this. Thanks. 
don't mention it. All right, we are back to 486 coins. Still not enough. Still not enough for sure. Uh, let's see. What else do we have to do today? Now, how much sugar do I need for these fellas, though? Hold on a minute. Let me go into the missions. So, we need... Um, five sugar. Never mind. I need one more, apparently. Man, this is so expensive. The mission for these kids is going to be an expensive one, but I got to do it. I just have to. All right, guys. I got your stuff. There you go. Here's the wooden sugar you all asked for. You're the best. Thank you, Tara. You should come back to the town square on weekends. You can try our recipe. On the weekends. Come Interesting. On. We got to get started right away. We can't waste any more summer. <laughs> All right, little guys. We got it. We got the mission going. Perfect. In that case, uh, let me make my way to the forest and chop down some trees. We do have quite a bit of energy and I do want to go through it. Uh, just by getting ourselves some trees because tomorrow I'm probably going to focus on going inside the mines, right? So let me just chop down as many trees as we can. All right, we are done with the energy for now. Let me make my way back home, get some sleep, and tomorrow we're going to be able to finish up our missions. Uh, hopefully tomorrow is going to be a day where I'm going to be able to actually finish up the missions. I don't even know. Uh, the thing is, I do have a lot of uh, cropping to do, so let's just uh, see what we can do today. Now, the thing is, I don't have any more energy, right, which means I'm not going to be able to water down stuff. Uh, let me see if I have something to eat, though. Mm, nope, we got nothing to eat, but I could probably go ahead and cook me something just to get a little bit of energy today. Uh, let me make me coconut and rice. I don't think I want that one, actually. Hold up. Uh, yeah, this one's going to be all good. Let's just make a few of them. Uh, let's also make myself a little bit of tea here. And I think that's going to be enough. Let's see what we got for this. Collect and get another energy going as for this one I could make a rice wine yeah let's just make it whatever we are probably gonna need it eventually right uh, for now let's just go ahead and eat up this one just to get a little bit of energy and uh, let's see what we can plant here so this one's gonna be corn of course also water down oh I don't have any water there we go water it down Alright, next up, we are going to need, uh, let's see, let's go with, I guess, strawberries. Water it down. Oh, we're watering down more of them at the moment. Interesting with this uh, new thing that we just got. And next up, we got sugar canes. Alright, perfect. Everything is watered down, uh, which means all I got to do now is just wait for the night time to uh, pass and a new day to arrive. Alright, there we go. A brand new day has started. Let me make my way downstairs to collect my potions first. So first of all, we got that one. Uh, let's also get another grow potion over here. Uh, this one is still not ready. Wow, this one is taking quite a bit. Alright, uh, let me go ahead and place... Oh, hold up. What does she want? Oh, she wants wood? I think she does, yeah. Morning! I've got exciting news. I've been named this year's Captain of the Summer Festival. Wow. So, does being captain mean you get to ride on a parade float? <laughs> no, but I do get to organize everything and make sure the festival is perfect. Sounds like a lot of work. Oh, it is. Francis did it one year and almost had a nervous breakdown. <laughs> Yay, hon. I need she your needs help. wood, I think. The festival is a day-long celebration culminating in a big bonfire down by the beach. I need wood. Lots Oh, God. And lots what does that wood. mean, lots Please of wood? Please bring any you can spare to Thomas. He's volunteered to help assemble the bonfire. Thanks so much. You're the best. All right. Oh, just 25? That's not bad, actually. That is not bad at all. I've got lots of wood for you. Oh, lovely. Oh, well, we uh, got to bring it to Thomas. Would you be a dear and run it over to Thomas, though? He is assembling the bonfire. Okay, will do. We will do. For now then, uh, let me try to water down absolutely everything that we have right here. As uh, the bees are really excited to actually start making me some uh, honey. I'm pretty sure about it. Look at this. I love it that we're watering down so much now. So I think we got water down in the middle to uh, get all three of them watered down, right? So if I go over here, we're going to get all three of them watered down. Yes, that's how it works. Look at that. Perfect. All right, let me grab more water here. There we go. Let's see how the uh, bee is going. I mean, of course, they're not done because I don't have any flowers. But as soon as they're going to be done, 
we're gonna be happy with that. Let's collect this, collect that, and we can actually make more over here. Perfect. Let's see if I can get these ones going. Let me place... Wait, I cannot place it here, actually. I could place it on the flowers, though. Right over here. Just to speed it up. There we go. Process has been sped up a little bit. That's more like it. Man, I cannot wait to increase my pot here because I want to plant more stuff, but I don't have enough uh, space, right? Uh, let me give my cat here a little Listen bit of love. There we go. We got a cup. Perfect. Now, hold up. Can I maybe plant more stuff? Let's try something. Let me try to... First of all... How do I remove it? Destroy, place, and rotate. Let's go with delete. There we go. And let's also delete another one over... Actually, hold up. First of all, let me build one over here. And this one's going to be deleted. Perfect. And build up another bed right over here. All right. And now we're going to be able to plant more stuff. Uh, this one's going to be... Let's see. What should I plant here? I think I'm going to go with tomatoes this time. There we go. And a little bit of more sugar cane over here. Alright, I think these two should be enough, right, to produce uh, dirt. I don't think we needed uh, four of them. Alright, unfortunately, at the moment, I see that I don't have any more speed. Hmm. I will definitely have to make me that uh, recipe once again. But our goal for now is going to be to make more money, right? So, because of that, let me make my way inside the mines and start uh, collecting some more stuff out of the mines. Oh, what is she doing here? Does she have a mission for me, I wonder? Oh, hold up, she does. Hi, Tara. I hope you don't mind me hanging around here. Not at all. Hey, where'd you get that hammer? Oh, it was my great-grandfather's, but it was kept for many years by... I guess we'll call her a friend of the family. Wish I had it when I was younger <laughs> to fend off bad dates. Hmm, dating is the worst. My troll won't help my love life, and even Sophia couldn't make us matches. Um, let's go with that. You know, Sophia says she's a matchmaker. But I don't know if she could find us <laughs> matches. You think so? Because I've been tempted to take her up on huh. the offer. I'll admit, I gave up on finding love long ago due to my poor luck. But ever since I came here, my luck's been looking up in other ways. Maybe it's foolish, but I'm feeling hopeful. Look at that. We got casual friends. Awesome. All right, perfect. Another mission completed here. Let me make my way, as I was saying, inside the mines, as I want to try to keep on exploring here and unlocking more. Oh, what's happening? Hello? Is someone here? Oh, no way. Look at this. Is this fella? Oh, as I live and breathe, I forgot <laughs> you might be here. You again. I saw you before. What's your name? Do you live in Fairhaven? Oh, gosh. Oh, no. I don't think I'm supposed <laughs> to tell you that yet. What do you mean? I think... I think... I think I better go. Awful sorry, Tara. Oh, man. Seriously, come uh, on, buddy. appear and disappear like that? Also, how does she know my name? Dang it. She was trying to fix up something, apparently. Hmm. All right. Let me try to uh, get myself a lot of resources here while we're at it. Why not? Of course, except for stone. Stone is definitely not something I want to grab. At the moment, I want to get myself enough um, ore so that I can improve the pickaxe. As at the moment, it takes so many hits to uh, destroy these things, right? And I definitely want to improve it a little bit at least. All right. Get some more, buddy. I'm going to try to get me all of them today. Look at that. We got one. We got one copper ore. And that is exactly the reason I came in here for. Perfect. Let's grab this one as well while we're at it. All right. Let's keep her going. Thankfully, if I'm not mistaken, I do have the potion to increase my energy full again, right? More copper ore. That's what I'm talking about, buddy. All right, let's see. Let me go ahead and, uh... yeah, let's just grab this potion. Wow, and this potion is not increasing it fully anymore. Interesting. In that case, I'm just going to eat up a little bit. 
And now we have our energy full. Ooh, hold up, we just found the keys. There we go, we found the keys for level eight. That is what I'm talking about. Unfortunately, I don't really have that much energy on me, but I could always just go ahead and get myself um, a little bit more drinks in me, right? Because I do have the teas. But let me just move to the next level, which is gonna be level nine. And I'm really curious to find out what that thing was working on. Ooh, you know what? Is this gonna probably give me... Ah, oh, it's too strong, I knew it. I think that rock is tougher than my pickaxe. I might need an upgrade. Yeah, so I think we are gonna need, this is where I'm gonna need to get myself the silver ore if I wanna get through these rocks. I'm pretty sure about it. At least now we know where the silver finally is gonna be located, right? Oh, and another chest. How the heck do you even open up these things? Mm, it's locked tight. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely have to make my way to the other chest, which I think it was on level four. Four. Uh, I could try to go through absolutely everything on level 4 until eventually we are going to find a key in there. I'm not even sure if that's how that's going to work, though. So these are the two, the keys that we need, right? A heavy ring of keys used to access level 1 to 9 of the mine. Oh, 1 to 9! So is there not going to be more levels? Or maybe the keys are going to be different for other levels? I don't even know. Uh, let's just see. So we got only 5 of them at the moment. And let me grab this potion. Um, I would like to make this one, but I don't have what I need. So let me make another one. Let me also collect that. And let me make some speed potions here. Yep, that's definitely gonna be something I'm gonna need for sure. All right. Let's also go ahead and activate the speed potion while we're at it, because I wanna move a little bit faster. The time for walking slow has passed. Lighten my feet and make me fast. There we go. All right. And next up, let me just skip as I'm going to go back to uh, the forest, right? Because I want to see if I have some more missions that I got to do there at the forest, including maybe chatting about um, losing my grandma because those fellas haven't said anything about it just yet. Let me also get this mission for 30 woods. Perfect. And uh, let's keep on going. Let's see what we got around here next. All right, and look at that. We also have these flowers blooming, which is great because we definitely need them. Let me collect all of them every single night. There we go, three of them. And uh, let me make my way inside here. Let's see if we can get ourselves some more missions for the day. And while we're at it, I think I'm also supposed to put um, something in here, which is gonna be one mushroom. Uh, you know what, I think I could actually put another one. There we go, that's gonna increase it fully. All right, let's have a chat with everybody. One time, I messed up my proportions when I was making a big bat of miracle Grow. <laughs> I tested it on a mushroom, and it exploded to like, ten times its original size. <laughs> what did you do? I stuffed the mushroom in my bag and took it home, duh. Fresh produce is expensive. Alright, uh, what if I, can I chat with her? Oh, we can. There we go, so we can grab some more missions. I knew it. Oh, apparently this guy's gonna want honey. Heard you've been asked to help with the summer festival. Yes, Sophia asked me to fetch wood for the bonfire. Bale fire, you mean? Witches have been celebrating the solstice with bale, bale fire. fires for millennia. Non-witch folk came along, kept the custom, changed the name. So it goes. They only remember part of the legend. How does the coven celebrate the festival? Oh, we join in with the rest of the town at the bale fire. Our own traditions, we keep to ourselves. Say, you got any milk and honey? What for? <laughs> oh, is it another potion? You gotta learn your summer rites, novice. We leave offerings for the Fey folk every summer. It's tradition. Okay, well, honey, I can handle. But milk, I don't have We're gonna get that very soon because very soon we are gonna get ourselves a ranch. Are you telling me to just <laughs> search for a cow? Of course not. There's that ranch fixer-upper. You get that done in time, you might be able to strike a deal with the rancher who moves in. So of course we are gonna need one honey and one milk. We thankfully have one milk because I bought one, but I'm next up I'm gonna need honey. Uh, which I'm not gonna be able to get it until, of course, I'm gonna be uh, able to grow up some more flowers next to my bees. But next up, let me chat with this fella. I've been reading this journal. It belonged to Grandma, and... Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I know Hazel took the journal in for rebinding. I'm glad that it's safely back in your hands. There are entries that mention the fairies. Does... Does Fairhaven have fairies? Sure he does. You still have much to learn about the magic on this island. 
But before I tell you more about that, you must prove that you understand us. As a coven, speak to the Farseer witch. He will explain. Uh -huh. All right, speak to the Farseer to learn about the witch identity rights. Uh, in that case, let me chat with this fella and uh, see what he's going to say about it. Your gram wasn't a fan of our masks, but rules are rules. Wait, are they making me a mask? You've got to earn our or actually, I already have one. I'm just not wearing it, I guess. Who we really are, unless you think you can guess my name. Rumpelstiltskin. Ah, you'll be <laughs> the faithful unless you mean it now. You're to complete a test. Each member of the coven will ask you for a magical item. You're to bring it to them. Hmm. Sounds easy enough. During the day, in town, if you give oh. it to the right person, we'll say so. What? Are you kidding me? But what if I give it to the wrong person? <laughs> Won't Cameron freak out if I give him some magic doodad? Don't worry. Civilians can't read incantations. It just looks like a blank piece of paper to him. I'm to set you the first task. It has to do with time. Oh, time travel? How far back can I go? You're not ready for that yet, novice. But... You can try pausing What? You can try pausing time? For a moment to give you long enough to finish what you've got to that do. That is interesting. It will only work while you're in the place you read this spell. Once you leave that space, I get it. time will resume its course. Man, this is starting to be more interesting. I love it. To write the spell. Come to me during the day when you finished it. Come to me during the day when you finish it. All right, make a free time incantation as part of your uh, quest to unlock the Farseer's identity. New incantation. Uh, freeze time can now be crafted at your writing desk. Perfect. Man, am I supposed to guess which one of uh, the real persons uh, are all these wizards? Are you kidding me? <sighs> Dang it. Um, these spells are definitely changing the way the game works. I gotta like it though. I don't mind that. I don't mind at all. Alright, in that case, let me make my way back home. Uh, we are going to have to get ourselves a little bit of sleep here, of course, to uh, reset the day and get some energy back. And then we're going to keep on going. I want to see how much um, copper we have because I want to improve the ability, right? I want to improve my pickaxe. Because that moment, my pickaxe is pretty um, it's pretty bad and I really don't like it. All right, there we go. A brand new day has started. It is Friday. Um, not sure exactly what shops are going to be open, but I guess we're going to have to check out very soon. Alright, let's see what magic we got around here. So first of all, this one is done. Uh, and I mean, I'm gonna make me another one. Let me also go ahead and make me... Uh, oh, hold up. So for the freeze incantation, of course, we need honey and more ink. Alright, well, this means I'm gonna have to go ahead and try to catch me more squids. Hmm. Ooh, hold up. This fella's here. Uh, first of all, let me give him the wood that he requested. This is a real help. Don't worry, buddy. Thank you for the money. Morning, Parker. Can I help you with something? Well, yes, actually. Natalia told me all about the great job you did on the mine. And you know that broken bridge over yonder? Uh, he's uh -huh. also going to offer to fix that. What will it be? Well, some more wood and some <laughs> iron from your mine would show up for okay. support. Okay, wood and iron. Because a scientist with a big research grant wants to move into the old lookout post. Interesting. But I just want to take walks up the mountain pass again and visit my favorite flowering dogwood trees. Okay, I'll help. Thanks. You can bring Cheers, your supplies mate. by my shop when you're ready. All right, so look at that. We already have everything that we need for this fella, and it's not that expensive either. I know that I said that I want to get the ranch going, but I think I will have to skip the ranch for now as I don't have enough money, and I'm probably going to go with um, the bridge first. Let me just water down everything that we can here first of all. Look at that. Love it. I love that we can water down two things at one point, or even three of them if you're putting it uh, in the middle here. Look at that. Everything is getting watered down. Now, I'm not going to collect the flowers here just because these ones are going to help my bees, right? Yeah, look at that. We can't collect them, but I don't want to do it. I'm going to leave the flowers as they are. Let me water down everything on this side, though. There we go. And a little bit here. Much better, buddy. All right. Once I'm going to have all the flowers going, we're probably going to be able to uh, make some honey. All right, what should I speed up then? Uh, I want to speed up actually the flowers over here, if I may. 
And let me also go ahead and speed up these things as well. Oh, actually, I cannot speed that one up, and I cannot speed that one up either. Uh, in that case, let me go ahead and speed up the berries here. And look at that, these flowers are also ready to collect, which I'm not gonna collect because I do wanna start making me some uh, honey, right? What about these bees? Are they doing their job? Yes, they are. Finally, they're doing their job. All right, perfect, that's what I wanna see. Well, in that case, let me see what the cat is gonna have for me today. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Can I also give her a fishy a wonder? Ah, she gave me a bone, good job. Let me also give you one of these fishies. Oh, we can also give her milk, but I really need that milk, though, for my uh, coven mission. <laughs> you still liked that, Of course she did. It's fish. What cat doesn't like fish? All right, let me see if I can catch me this one right here, because this one may actually be the uh, squid that we need. All right, there we go. Is it going to be the squid that one there? And the answer is... No, it's not, but it's a really huge crawfish, apparently. A new fish that we didn't have before. Alright, in that case, uh, let me make my way inside the mines and get some things going on here. The reason I wanted to go here is because I want to go into floor 4. If I'm not mistaken... Oh my god, the amount of stuff that we got to collect. If I'm not mistaken, this is where the chest is, right? Yeah, it is. So, let me try to collect everything there is in this mine and see if eventually we are going to get a key, right? To open up this chest. I really wonder if that's going to be a thing. All right, and unfortunately, we did not get ourselves a key. Uh, I didn't even have enough energy because I don't have anything to drink at the moment. So, uh, since this one did not work, let me make my way back home and see if I can make me some potions here. Just by going through this side. There we go. Uh, let's see, what potion is going to make? So, this one is still doing its thing. Unfortunately, I cannot really craft me any potions at the moment. Hmm. Yeah, I cannot really make any potions at the moment. So, because of that, let me make my way outside. Uh, I think what I'm going to do here... I'm going to make my way to the blacksmith to try to ask her to make me more, uh, copper ore. Oh, and look at that! Red trees are growing! So, I don't know why you guys said that red trees are not- uh, red trees are not growing back up because they are. They definitely are. So that is definitely not a thing. So now that we know that that's a thing, we're definitely going to be able to chop down the red trees. I mean, I don't think they're different. They definitely don't have anything different about them, just the color. That's it. And um, yeah, everything is just working the same as the other trees. So let me see if I can get me some copper ore. How much? Eight. Perfect. And now we have enough to get a better pickaxe. Finally. There we go. That is what I want to see, buddy. And now we're finally going to be able to uh, get things moving on. All right, that is done. Uh, next up then, let me make my way to Thomas because I have to give him the wood, right? I've been asked to bring him some wood there. So let me go ahead and do that one while we're at it. And Thomas is supposed to be right over here if I'm not mistaken. Hey buddy, I got you the wood that has been requested of me. Here's the wood for the bonfire, Thomas. Thanks. It's really nice of you to help Sophia out. If that's bait, <laughs> wash ashore, I'm not biting. <laughs> well, I'm not biting. Nice talking to you, Thomas. Wait, I... Ooh, okay, uh, what type of favor? Need a favor. How can I help? The summer festival is meant to celebrate the bounty of Fair bounty Haven. Of Fair Haven. Sophia and Angus spend the whole week leading up to it cooking and baking. Sophia asked me if I'd help her with the corn for popcorn. I filled up as many of my plots as I can spare, but it won't be enough. Hmm. You need me to grow corn? Yep. Here are the seeds. Oh, there we go. Thank you very much for the seeds, buddy. Do it. All right, so we are going to have to get ourselves uh, quite a bit of corn, I think, in order to do this mission right. Interesting. At the same time, hold up. Can I maybe buy me some stuff from this fella? Uh, first of all, let me buy me the recipe. And let's also buy me four of the cotton seeds. Let's go with five. There we go. All right, new recipes, new stuff unlocked. Perfect. Uh, unfortunately, as you guys can see, we actually spent all our money. Uh, we're definitely not going to be able to get ourselves the ranch going just yet, as uh, I'm completely out of money right now. But uh, as soon as I'm going to get 1,000 coins, I'm definitely going to get the ranch going in uh, the next episodes. For now, I think I'm just going to focus on maybe the building of the bridge, right? And seeing what that is all about. Because I think, if I'm not mistaken, I may have all I need. Um, I'm not quite sure exactly if um, that dude is going to request money from me as well, though. Hmm. Oh, hold up. This fellow has a mission for me. 
Hey, buddy. What's up? Oh, bra. And how are you finding our fair hey, bra. town? I hope it's going easier for you than it did for me when I moved here. Why? What happened when you moved here? I was paddling back out after catching a bomb and riding it inshore. Uh, this noob dropped in on me and bam, uh, smashed right into my shoulder. Hmm. At least the surfing was epic. Uh, you went back out. Let's go with I stay on the beach. Let's go with at least the surfing was epic. At least it sounds like you had an epic surf day before the accident. <laughs> that I did. It was firing that day. I never I like this guy. I would get back on the waves. I just had to wait for Dr. Syed to give me the all clear. Then I started working for Sheila, who used to run this stand. Uh, when she pieced out to retire in Milkwater, I took over. Glad you're here. Stop by anytime. All right, buddy. Look at that. New acquaintance. Awesome. Relationship increased with that fella. Um, let us see what we got to do next. Do we have any missions for her? Oh, we got the wood for her. Perfect. Or at least I got to tell her that I gave the wood. I gave Thomas the wood you needed. <laughs> Lovely. Here, this is fresh out of the Perfect. oven. Perfect. You deserve Cheers, it. Cheers, mate. All right, we got some pastry. Perfect. That is all I needed. Uh, let's keep her going this way then. Let's see what other missions we got to do. Uh, also, let's not forget that we can visit the grave here and put in some more flowers. Actually, I've already done that. I think the flowers are going to last there for quite a bit, right? Before we're going to have to do it again. Uh, let's see what other missions we got. We got to start uh, uh, getting ourselves some money back again. But first of all, let's chat with Parker here and give him the resources that he needed for building up the bridge. So let's go with that and the bridge. Oh, I need 200 coins. Never mind. So this one is also going to require money. What about my farm here? Hmm... You need to clear the area of your farm before I can start. I could make this whole ah. area a place for gardening, but you need to clear out all the trees and rocks from the area I've roped off. Interesting. Got it? You come back and let me know when you've cleared out all the trees and rocks there, and then we can talk business. So apparently I'm going to be able to um, make more plots, but for that I need 1,500 coins and 50 grass, uh, or dirt actually, and that's not going to be easy to come across. Definitely, definitely not going to be easy to come across for sure. Uh, in that case, let me finally get myself another mission from here, which is going to be paper this time, I guess. There we go. Um, I think that may be it for now, because everybody is going to sleep by the looks of it. Yeah, I definitely don't have what I need in order to do uh, a few more things around here. I do have the paper for camera, but I think I'm going to give it tomorrow. Uh, in order to, to do this one, I am going to need some ink. The festival starts in 12 more days, apparently. And in order to plant corn, of course, I need more empty spots around here, uh, which we definitely do not have at the moment. At least I did plant one over there, and then, um, I guess that's going to be it for now. Well, hopefully all these flowers that I planted are going to help my bees make me some honey, right? Yeah, I'm really hoping that's going to be a thing. All right, anyway, guys, in that case, that being said, thank you all very much for watching. Uh, I think we are going to have to end up the episode right here for now, and we'll come back in the next one. You are going to keep on exploring here, keep on trying to grow a little bit more, and um, getting some more things done. But in the meantime, thank you all very much for watching. Stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye, everybody.